All right, uh, it's Monday, and I'm uh, back to work on John Lovewell's piece here.
doing uh, so far is just building up the uh, chest cavity and it's because the chest cavity that comes with the uh, true form armatures is a little bit smaller than normal and what uh, and that's the reason why is because what they're doing is they want you to uh, if you want to add ribs to the chest cavity then they've given you room enough to do that I'm not going to add ribs because all this is going to be covered with clothing anyway so there's no need to go to that great detail all I'm going to do is block in muscle structure and stuff like that so that uh, when I do put the clothes on it'll have some form underneath the clothing uh, you got to always start from underneath and work out when you're sculpting uh, a clay figure um, I've been working out the arm position too I'm not sure what, exactly what I'm going to have him do now in the painting by uh, uh, John Buxton uh, he has um, him carrying a rifle in this hand and drawing a handgun out from his uh, belt and I think I'm going to stick with that because I kind of like that idea because it's like he's just noticed something that's out of the ordinary or something that uh, has caught his attention uh, you remember you got to remember that he was ambushed him and, and his men were ambushed uh, near Lovewell Pond which was named after him after the battle um, in New Hampshire uh, in 1725 I think it was uh, I'm I want not sure. him to have the rifle in this hand like in the painting and it's just because it makes more sense that he's carrying the rifle in his left hand and leaving his right hand uh, free to grab a uh, handgun if he has to and so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to have a handgun underneath his coat uh, in his belt but uh, I don't even know what kind of belt it's going to be until I get the uh, uh, clothing part of the uh, project uh, finished and that's not going to be until probably next month now because it's getting too close to the holidays and it's just going to be too crazy trying to fly back east uh, this time of year anyway so I'm going to wait till the first part of next year to uh, go back east. All right, uh, that's about as far as I'm going to get uh, today because I've got to leave and go. Um, a friend of mine is coming to pick me up. But as you can see, it's starting to take shape. Uh, the rib cage is sketched in. I'm starting on the legs, as you can see there. It's got a nice movement to it, and uh, I kind of like it. I'm going to have to do some foaming for the base, and I think I might have to do that this week sometime. But uh, that's how it's turning out so far. And some of you have been asking me about the uh, Lovewell bust, which is right there. I am. I did that as a sketch for this one. And what I'm going to do is redo the, the bust on him, but more in proportion to and uh, more reflective of what the uh, guy is doing. That was just a sketch to work out the features I'm going to be looking for. All right, till tomorrow, that's going to be it.